What's up guys and gals, Curb21 back at you again with another Nightmare Cup battle video. In this video, we are on the quest to find a replacement for the very elusive Hypno with Shadow Ball. In this video, we're going to be trying out Chimeco. Chimeco is one I like to use as a closer, so we're going to lead off with Shiftry. Very bad matchup against the Poison Jabbing Skuntank. Try to switch over to Hitmonchan. I feel like this is going to be a crunch, so I'm not shielding. And it ends up being a sludge bomb. Should have probably switched a little bit earlier. Let him get off way too much energy onto his skunk tank. Hitting his grumpy with a fire punch, which is another replacement to Hypno. It's a more tanky variant. Uh, but he's running charge beam to try to race Hypno up to that shadow ball. He's going to be able to get off three shadow balls. Hypno would get off two. And grumpy would win off of two shield scenarios. So we're just going to let him faint out our Hitmonchan. That's a bad matchup. I'd rather bring out a shift tree before the switch clock at the very bottom right you can see before that burns down to able to be switched so he can knock out his grumpig and he couldn't switch out of that bad matchup now he was waiting his time so that now he can get this switch advantage if we bring out something that beats him thing is it's chimeco so he's not going to switch it's a dark type pokemon he's going to try to get off his flamethrower yep because now we can learn he has flamethrower and sludge bomb he does not have Crunch on his Skun Tank, unless he brings a second one. And here's where Chimeco can shine. Up two shields versus Lucario. Nothing he can do. Uh, we get to the Psy Shock, and we're going to finish him off with some extra sensories. Great match for Chimeco there. That's picture perfect what you want to do. Now, what our opponent could have done is if he was running Crunch on his Skun Tank, he could have burned more shields on our side to get us to have less protection for our Chimeco late game and that way he could have gotten to Shadow Ball on his Lucario or possibly brought the Lucario out for the Shift Tree and then at that point he would have burnt, built it up built built up more energy for the Shadow Ball versus our Chimeco and use Crunch on his Skun Tank to finish off our Chimeco. I think that's that's the line of play if he had perfect knowledge of our team that he could have used to beat us. But he didn't know he had a Psychic in the back. So he saved his Lucario for the one-on-one. -on -one. Here we're going to lead off with a Hitmonchan versus a Skunk Tank. Going to keep on using the Fire Punch. Have still not shown him that we have Ice Punch yet. And so maybe he'll bring a Zatu out. We do opt to shield the Sludge Bomb this time. Learning that that does about 45% of our HP. So, we're going to continue with the Fire Punch strategy, trying to bait out a Zatu. And it's a Toxicroak. He's probably just going to finish us off by counter. And we're not going to switch there, because then we could have been switch trapped. Now, he's going to switch to his Alolan Eradicate, which now is switch trapped into an even matchup. Not a horrible matchup, because he removed our fighting type Pokemon. Hyper Fang is going to do some neutral damage there. Really good move. And I think he's running Quick Attack on his Alolan Eradicate, not Bite. So that's better against the general field. Uh, bite is slightly better against Psychic types. So we're going to send off a Crunch just to chip away a little bit of damage on this Toxic Croak. Might have taken the knockout, not sure. Uh, but he had to shield there in order to survive. And here we are. Up a shield with, to uh, with a Chimeco. And we're going to win... It isn't very easy matchup. Four times weakness. We've got Psy Shock. That's, that's game over at that point. So Chimeco doing what she was brought to the dance to do. Sweeping teams at the end with a shield advantage. So here we go into the third game. And I think we're going to switch out the leads in this one. We're going to keep Chimeco in the back. It's very risky to start a Psychic type in my opinion. Because there are just so many prevalent Dark type leads. Like Infestation on your Drapion, possibly even Bite on a Skun Tank, or Bite on a Alolan Raticate. Um, Umbreon can be running Snarl, you could have Shiftry with Razor Leaf that beats you, um, even you know, Alolan Raichu with Spark most likely beats your Psychic-type lead. And if you can't beat Hypno one-on-one -on -one with two shields, then you're not going to win. And from my simulations, Extra Sensory doesn't beat Confusion, to the Shadow Ball. it's The Confusion just does more damage. And so we're going to lead off with a Skun Tank versus their Skun Tank, Mirror Match. They're going to hit us with a Flamethrower. Should have shielded there, because we know he has Sludge Bomb, and he's got to be going for Flamethrower. But my strategy is to double crunch him for the knockout, because if he doesn't shield here, 
then he's gonna be knocked out. If he does, at least we burn a shield. So he does burn the shield. We're gonna switch over to Hitmonchan. He's got Flamethrower. Ooh, it's actually a Sludge Bomb. Okay, we should have shielded that. So that was another mistake that we could have made, being a little bit too conservative with our shielding. But hopefully it doesn't, you know, come back to bite us. He brings out a very interesting Pokemon in a Tackling Girafferig. And I'm not really sure what its fast move is, if it's Confusion or Charge Beam, but I do believe it has Thunderbolt as a charged attack. He's just going to take out our Skun Tank there, and we're going to bring out Chimeco up one shield, and here's a problem. <laughs> this is one of those really bad matchups where if you're even up a shield, I think this is one of the 33% of the field that's just going to beat you because it's a dark type. So you probably beat the other 66% of the field up a shield in this scenario, but with Alolan Eradicate, there's almost no chance with the type advantage. Uh, even if we send off a Shadow Ball, it's going to be resisted on the Dark type. It'll be a little more damage if it were to hit, but he just burned a shield there. And it takes a lot more energy. So my plan is to burn the shield and then try to get off as strong as an attack as I can here at the end. And it's not looking like I'm going to be able to get to the Shadow Ball. Could have possibly, but that's going to be the game. Thanks, guys. Good luck in your Nightmare Cup battles. And I'll catch you on the next one.